Hello guys, welcome to this 3D Blast tutorial. My name is Carlos Sosa, I'm a 3D artist from Quito, Ecuador. You can check out my work at www.carlososa3d.com or at my social media at carlososa3d. So in this tutorial we're going to be covering how to use the Blender Miss Pass, okay? And um, the steps we're going to be looking at is why using atmospheric effect. The Miss Pass is an, an atmospheric effect how to use the mist pass in Blender and then we're going to learn how to use the mist pass also in uh, Photoshop, okay? So let's answer the, the first question, why using um, the mist pass? And uh, the importance of the mist pass is to create realism. Uh, if we look at this environment here, you can see that the mountains, uh, as the further away they are from the camera, there's some sort of like mist or veil that is covering them and it makes us more difficult to see, okay? And the ones that are closest to the camera are easier to see. And this is because there are millions of particles in the air that create this effect that uh, if something is further away, we're gonna have this sort of like mist or veil on top of them. And if you make a 3D render without this, it's gonna look fake. Um, but this is not used only in uh, exteriors or on outside environments. We can also use it on an inside a scene like this one right here and uh, this mist here just make a little bit more dramatic uh, more drama to the adds more drama to this scene and that's what we're going to be looking at on this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I did this um, render on the left side and is this is part of uh, a course that I created which is called environment design using mid journey and blender and on the whole course I'm going to be showing how to create an image using artificial intelligence through Mid Journey and then take it to Blender and uh, recreate it on 3D. We're going to be looking at um, camera matching, we're going to be looking at shading, modeling, compositing, then compositing in Photoshop. It's a pretty fun course. So I'm going to leave um, some of the description and uh, the links on the Blender market so you can acquire if you want to, okay? All right, so let's go to our tutorial. This is my 3D scene. You can look at it right here. And um, we want to render the scene and we want to take some render passes out of this scene, but we want to take one that allow us to make this atmospheric effect and that one is the mist pass, okay? So first we need to go to our render passes here. Uh, you see passes and we are going to activate the mist pass which is here okay first we activate the mist pass once you activate the mist pass if you go to the world settings by the way we are working on cycles okay it doesn't matter it works also on EV but um just to so you guys know and uh, if we go to our um, to our world settings uh, now you're going to see that we have also this mist pass right but this one depends on this. If I turn off this one, uh, it's the other one is going to disappear, the one on the world. Okay, so that's kind of confusing, but um, once you activate it, it's going to be visible here. But the problem is that we cannot see what's doing. You know, there's nothing showing us the distance or anything, because here it says start and depth, but we don't really have like a visual uh, way to to see this. And the third step is going to be going to our camera settings. We need to select our camera and go into our camera settings. And now on the ones that says viewport display, we also need to activate mist. Okay, so there's three steps. I don't know why they don't put it on only one of these uh, menus, but uh, okay, it doesn't matter. So we go to the camera, mist, and then you can see now on the camera there's a line that activated and uh, this is the one that's going to be showing us how deep uh, we want the mist pass to go, okay? So if I go to my um, side view, I am going to see, so let's go back to our world to control the mist pass and then I can see the start. I wanted to start from the camera and I wanted to go a little bit further away, so like Starting from here, the mist pass is going to start working. It's going to start giving us the depth information of all of these, right? So it, that's going to depend on your scene, but in my case, I want the, the persons or the people that are here in front of the camera 
to not have uh, much of the of the effect so let's just put it like around there okay now I'm just gonna make a render and I'm, I'm gonna show you uh, how to use it inside blender and then we're gonna take it to Photoshop okay okay so uh, once our render is complete I'm just gonna go to my compositing tab and here is my render I didn't put it on much samples because this is just an example of what we're gonna do um, this here is just a couple of view layers if you want to learn more about view layer just write it on the comments so I can make uh, another tutorial maybe um, covering view layers alright so uh, this is like this is not my final image of course but I'm gonna show you how to use a mist pass and here it is you see mist pass I'm just gonna uh, control shift click it that uh, suppose you have the node wrangler add-on so just go to preference add-ons and just look for the node wrangler add-on and that's the one that's gonna work on this whoops don't worry about that so okay as you can see the mist pass is like a depth pass it has the information of depth uh, on a black and white scale so this is gonna help us to achieve our goal so what we're gonna do is just gonna create uh, let's put a color mix here just connect our image let's make this mist kind of bluish and let's connect the mist pass we're just gonna connect it onto the factor okay like that and you can see something is going on it's like this mist is already covering the image but it's, of course is way too too much so uh, to control this I'm just gonna add a color ramp I'm gonna go to color ramp and then just put it here on the mist pass and if I start crushing the blacks to the right you can see it's already starting to have an effect it's gonna control how far you want the mist to go okay that's cool and with the other one you're gonna control the intensity of the mist so if I this white is way too intense it's like a hundred percent even if I take it here it's gonna start covering everything that is really cool you can animate this by the way and then um, I'm just gonna make this a little bit to a grayer, grayer value and there you can see the the mist is starting to show I don't want it too much on the character so yeah that's how you control the mist here you know you make it thicker or thinner with this and you can switch colors you know make you can make something like red or whatever but in this case something more blue is gonna work just fine and that's the uh, if you are trying to do this in, uh, if you want to do this inside Blender Compositor, if you want to do it in Photoshop, let me just open Photoshop. Here it is. So here is my image, uh, and here is my mist pass. So I'm just gonna take this one here. I'm just. It's gonna ask me to the uh, mist to the missing profile. It doesn't matter. Okay, so this is my mist pass. Okay, so how do we use this? I'm just gonna select this layer, Control A, to select all, and then I'm just gonna copy it with Control C. Okay, Control C. I'm gonna copy this. Now, let's create a layer and let's just fill it with um. Also, um, like we did in Blender, with like a bluish color. Okay, like that, and then just fill it and I wanna put a mask on this okay so I'm just gonna click on new mask but we want to actually paste the mist pass which we already copied we want to paste it inside a mask so to get inside the mask I'm just gonna press alt the alt key and then I'm just gonna click on the mask that's gonna kinda like open the mask and I'm just gonna go to edit paste special and paste in place so yep so right now this black and white mist pass is gonna be the mask of our layer uh, to get out you also to get out of the mask you also press alt 
and then just click it. And kind of like the same thing, it was happening in Blender, right? The color is way too too much. I can change this color by pressing Control uh, Control U to bring my hue and saturation, maybe something like that. But if I select the mask and I press Control L to bring out our levels. It's kind of like the color ramp in for in uh, in Blender, right? So if I take this to the blacks, it's gonna control how far I want the mist to work, and with the other one, I'm gonna control the um, intensity of the of the mist. If I don't want it to be so intense, I'm gonna go to this one right here, and I can control it, right? Yeah, maybe you can, I don't know, maybe duplicate this one, change the color a little bit, you can do like a bunch of things, but um, this is how you use um, the mist pass here inside of Photoshop, so hope this tutorial has been useful, I hope you use it on your own renders, and don't forget to check out my environment design course using artificial intelligence and Blender, on which I'm covering a lot of things, from modeling, from shading, from compositing, using view layers, render passes, and then compositing in Photoshop, and all starting from a generated AI image. So I hope you like this tutorial guys, and I'm gonna leave some of the links on the description. Cheers!